In this video, I'll explain how to select the last column of a data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video, I will show you an example. And this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to five of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of R Studio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line six of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains seven rows and four columns, which are called x1, x2, x3, and x4. Now let's assume that we want to extract the last column of this data frame, namely the column x4. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line eight. And in this line of code, I'm specifying that I want to create a subset of our data frame by using square brackets. And then within the square brackets, I'm specifying a comma. And after the comma, I'm applying the ncall function to our data frame. And then I'm saving the output of this in a new data object, which is called last vec. So if you run line eight of the code, you can see that a new data object is appearing at the top right, which is called last vec. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line nine of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector object, which contains exactly the same values that have been stored in our last column x4. However, you can also see that in this example, we have converted our output to a vector object. So if we want to keep the data frame class, then we can apply the code that you can see in line 11. And in this line of code, I'm specifying exactly the same syntax as in the previous example. However, in addition, I'm also using the drop argument and I'm specifying this argument to be equal to false. And then I'm storing the output of this in another data object, which is called last data. So if you run line 11 of the code, you can see that another data object is appearing at the top right, which is called last data. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 12 of the code. And then you can see that we have created another data object that contains our fourth column x4. However, this time we have kept the data frame class. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.